Remove the three screws on the side of the cartridge. On the other side, unscrew the other three screws. Remove these two screws. Unhook the three hooks and remove the front plate. Remove the two side panels. Remove the phone charge roller. Remove the drum. Probably, it's possible to reuse the drum. Look for wear, check for nicks, then clean the drum with isopropyl alcohol. Make attention, the light may damage it. For more information on how to clean a drum, click here. Note the position of this spring. Remove the convent spring. Remove the developer cylinder gear. It's not necessary to remove the other gears, but take note of their position. Using a screwdriver, release the hook and remove the white bushing. In the same way, remove the other bushing. The two bushings are equal. Remove the developer cylinder. Remove the fill plug. Clean out all the remaining toner from the cartridge. It's better to use compressed air. If possible, use a toner workstation. Getting all the old toner out is very important. Do not reuse the toner left inside of the supply hopper. It's mostly waste toner. And if you have two different type of toners in the cartridge, at the same time, the quality will be compromised. You can also clean the cartridge at open air. The best you clean the cartridge, the best quality it have. Do not breathe the toner dust. Clean the charge roller with water. Make attention, do not leave any lint behind. The charge roller places the initial charge on the drum, as well as erases the residual charge at the end of the cycle. Gently, clean the developer cylinder with isopropyl alcohol. The developer cylinder carries the toner from the supply chamber to the drum. Clean the doctor blade so there is no evidence of buildup along the edge. If any buildup exists, the cartridge will streak. The doctor blade controls the amount of toner on the developer roller. Clean and inspect the felt seals. If they are compressed, roughen them up with a small screwdriver. Reinstall the developer cylinder. The long metal shaft is on the left. Reinstall the two plastic bushings.
Fill the cartridge with toner. Replace the fill plug and check for leaks. Install the contact spring. Insert the gear. To change the chip, cut the plastic rivets. Remove the old chip. Insert the new chip. Using a soldering iron, redo the plastic rivets. Insert the chip panel into the drum shaft. Insert the side panel into the cartridge. Insert the other side panel. Install the left charge roller support. Insert the charge roller. Insert the front panel. Make attention. The springs must be into their slots. Insert the eight screws. And the work is done.